Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And yes, I'm back. I've been having some technical problems. And um, yeah, for about the past two months or so. And so I'm working with some new equipment and going through a big learning curve. And uh, so I'm hoping that this video is actually going to be the first of many to go ahead and work. And yes, I did get my hair cut again. Yes, it is coarse, really, really thick and really, really curly. I cut it three times myself starting, you know, down around here and then I cut it up and um, I've gone twice to get it um, you know, just evened out by the professionals. So, um, but I'm kind of done cutting it for the moment. So, uh, going ahead and getting started. I have the flower, and this is the light illusion on. Um, this one, I'm not sure what color I have in here. To tell you the truth, uh, this is an older product, but yeah. I really like it. It's one of the better foundations and it's at a midpoint. It's at about $15 or so and you can find it on sale a lot of the time. And if you're having trouble finding it, just go to the Flower Beauty website and you can find uh, the Light Illusion. And it's really good. Really good one. Um, let's see, what else do I have on? I have the... Um, <clears throat> Okay, so for blush, I went ahead and used this one. It's by Koki. It's called Crushing. It's one of their new blushes. They have the imprint in there. It's ombre, so you can swirl it around, get all sorts of pretty colors. And again, that's what I have on for my blush. As far as my uh, bronzer, I went ahead and used the ColourPop Get Sandy. So it's a putty blush, or putty bronzer can't talk and so yeah that's what I have on there I did go ahead and use the NYX uh, Thicket Stick It on the brows and this one's in light ash brown and let's see what else I have here that I used oh here it is it's what I've been looking for the Milani Peach um, this is what I used for my primer and then I mixed in the flower light illusion for the base so this is what I couldn't find just a moment ago and this is a really good um, they say glass skin primer and um, I really like it it does have a really um, yeah really prominent smell so if you don't like the smell of peach you might not like that one um, as far as mascara used uh, Sky High by Maybelline and Essence Lash Princess, so I mix those together. As far as what I'm using on the eyes, this is very new to me. It's a Jungle Lights by Flower, and so I'm going ahead and using this one. I have uh, this on the inner corner, this one right under the brow, and I have uh, this one in the crease, and this one on my lid. So this is how the look came out. It's different, but uh, this new palette to me, I know that it's been out for a while. But uh, Ulta had a sale where you got 10 times the points on any palettes that you purchased. And this is one that I have just thought was gorgeous and I wanted to pick it up anyway. So yeah, it was it worked out really nice. And always keep an eye out for those um, uh, the Ulta sales where they give you 10 times the points because those can come in really handy especially when you're buying gifts and you got those extra points to apply and then I'm going to go ahead and put some of the hourglass on this is um, their palette from last year the light palette from last year um, last year I was looking at just getting this one the universal powder it was fifty dollars so at that point I just thought no I'll just go ahead and get the holiday pack um, this is what it looks like after having it for four year um, I'm looking at at least getting one more year maybe two more years worth of use out of it so I know everybody looks at it and goes oh, look at the price tag oh my god but if you look at it as a three-year investment you're paying about $27 per year to go ahead and have this palette and I think it's worth it and so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Universal this is a ColourPop brush
So there we go. And yeah, we'll do some glisten up. This is by Fourth Ray. It's the sister company to ColourPop. And um, I like to use this as a setting spray. It has a whole bunch of glitter in it. It's a really sparkly. And so if you're going for a glowy look, I think it really adds a lot in for that. And the Tower 28, their cashew. Go ahead and put that on. So this their cashew gloss, and I think I'm all set and ready here. And, um, oh, I know I've forgotten something. The Addicted to You. Uh, this was a highlighter that I went ahead and used. Once again here. Okay. So this is a highlighter that I went ahead and used on top. And again, this is from ColourPop. It's the Addicted to You. I think that's everything that I have on. And hopefully this will be the start of many more videos. Lots of videos. Just videos everywhere. So anyway, thank you. Have a great day.